Hey everyone, I'm going to bring to you some really interesting information that I've just kind of dove into myself. Um, as you know, I'm really in, I'm really freedom motivated. I'm always looking like for a better way um, to live outside the matrix, matrix and just design our own life. So I have been studying tax strategy and I came across this really awesome uh, leader in tax strategy and her name is Courtney Epps and I just want to like share this information with you. If you have a home-based business, this is like super important. And if you don't, you're going to want one. Okay. So she basically shares what a lot of people know, like what Robert Kiyosaki teaches is in that's that there are two tax systems that we work with in our country, right? So the first tax system is the W2 employee taxes. So it's a broken system and is designed to steal your wealth. So if you are a W-2 employee, you are part of the biggest scam ever. You're, you're losing most of your money. The second tax bracket is for anyone who owns their own business, whether they're self-employed or they're just running that business. Um, so this, this attorney, uh, the reason she's so unique is not only she has CPA and um, you know certified attorney with all the, the degrees and experience, but she has gone further to study under Sandy Botkin who is the IRS attorney himself, the guy who like trained other IRS attorneys who did all the tax auditing, who was like the head of that department. And then he went on to like write his own book called Lower Your Own Taxes, Lower Your Taxes Big Time. So this book goes into all the tax codes, all the things that your regular and average CPA know nothing about, right? Um, and, and actually the average CPA is not really versed in what home-based business looks like and what you can deduct. And, um, so she's also worked very closely with people like Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Rachel Hollis, Eric War. Okay, really big names. And she's really quite skilled in what she does. Now she says, and this is where you have to listen, the average person um, loses four to $8,000 a year by not having a home-based business. Four to $8,000 a year. Meaning, if you jumped on board a home-based business today, if you, if you open your house to a home-based business, you would save between four to eight thousand dollars in taxes every year uh, using the tax code systems properly okay this is really big news I mean this is just by and you save that money by taking your everyday expenses taking expenses like um you know I got a list them out listed out here it's meals daycare cell phone travel internet products personal development home expenses office supplies medical bills medical insurance and property taxes uh, you know, and the list goes on. We just need to understand the system, and then we use, we need to like take massive, massive advantage. Uh, and you really need like you can't take this advice from me. I'm just just sharing the good news. Really, you really have to go find uh, a really good CPA, not someone who's going to fight you on those deductions, but someone who really knows the tax code, and preferably someone like Courtney App, who has studied under uh, Sandy Botkin or has read his work and understand what you can actually deduct and can't. Um, she says, Courtney Ed says that you need a business to take yourself out of the one tax bracket, the one that's stealing your money into the next one. So you need this home-based business. And the best way, she says, is to get involved in a network marketing company that you're passionate about. So the moment you start sharing about that network marketing company, um, you are in business. Now, what does it take to qualify you to actually be in a business? Like what, what, what does it mean having a business? Um, according to IRS standards, if you work your business, um, what is it, 45 minutes a day, three to five days a week, you have a business. That could be social media posting, that could be just reading books, learning about your business, educating yourself on that. That could be, um, gosh, it could look like anything. It could look like talking to your friends and just sharing like what I would share about NRF2 activation, right? Just sharing something you're super passionate about and uh, th that's your business, right? Uh, 79 million people are going to open up a home-based business in the next five years, according to Forbes. That's huge. And I think it's because people are really waking up to how very broken the system is. And here's a quote I love from um, Courtney Epps. And I'm just going to quote her exactly. She says, the government has done a really good job of teaching people why the network marketing industry is not real. The reason why... I will tell you straight up, if every household in the U.S. had a home-based business, it would cost the government $508 billion a year. Straight up. That's incredible. That's why th this industry has been slurred. I mean, there are some people who don't do it professionally, that's true. But this is a massive way to take control of your own life, your own finances, 
and, and, and really live a better way. Um, something she goes on to say is, you know, just, just for the sake of saving four to $8,000 a day, you need to get in a business ASAP as soon as possible. That would look like just getting in touch with me and literally for $100, you can be in business. You can have your $50 starter kit, your basic product, and for $100, you're in business. Your computer, everything you've ordered this month for Christmas, your laptop, your new phone, anything you've gotten, uh, a new chair, a new desk, did you get anything for your office? You know, that's now tax deductible because you are in business. So we have to start thinking like this um, to leave the matrix and live a better way. So I think this is like an ideal time to start a business. So if that's something you're interested in, get with someone that you're passionate about what they're passionate about. If you've heard what I'm saying about NRF2 and you want to take the product, but you're afraid you can't afford it, I mean, it's really, it's $41 a month, it's, it's not very much. But if still, if that is a, um, a financial issue to some people, start a business. Start a business and, and think outside the matrix of what you can afford. With a W-2, you're left to afford very, very little. So I can understand why that would be a burden on some people. Um, but yeah, start a business today and all those things are tax write-offs immediately. So the really cool thing, and, and you got to check her out. If you uh, message me, I'll send you a really awesome YouTube video she does where she really breaks it down. Um, but she goes even further. I mean, you can just do this to save money, save four to $8,000 a month. Or, you know, if you're going to take this big time, which is what we plan to do with uh, retiring my husband in the near future, is just, um, you know, you can reallocate that money. You can uh, start an LLC. You can get an S corporation. You can hire your spouse and your children as employees. So you can actually, I've got six kids. This is going to work great for me. You can hire six kids and pay them up to 12000 each a year. Um, they have to be seven years old and up. And anyone under seven, you can still use them like as a model. If they're part of your brand, which I mean, if we get real, home-based business, our children are our brand. We are like our family, um, our health, our, our passions. It's all tied in together. I call it the modern family farm. Um, it's all tax deductible. So, um, what? I don't want to leave anything out. Message me if you want that information on, uh, her name is Courtney Epps, and again, she studied under um, Sandy Botkin, who is the leading tax, um, tax code writer for the, for the IRS. So there are so many deductions out there that we don't understand that we're not taking. Um, we're not taking full, we're not taking them to their full limits. And again, a lot of your average CPAs do not understand uh, these laws and, and what we are actually allotted or allowed to, to deduct as a, as a business expense. Um, it's really kind of exciting. And, and again, it's, it's learning to look outside that matrix and live a better way. Um, so again, she says the best way to get out of one tax bracket into another tax bracket is to start a home-based business. And she says the best home-based business model is network marketing business. So Talk to someone you know. You know, give me a call, and we will we'll get those things started before the end of the year, and you can do all those tax write ups. Um, another thing I wanted to say too is it, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be network marketing. I think network marketing is um, the best way. I really do. I've had a home based business, uh, an eBay business for ten years, so I was deducting. I was using a lot of these deductions. Um, you know, like our computers, our office space. Uh, you know, getting a lot of write offs, and it was really cool. And it, it was really cool, and I, and I made some money from home, which was great. But the thing is, I look back now, understanding what I do about network marketing and the power of residual income, which I was totally oblivious to before, because it's not something we're taught about, and it just seems like this mystique. And just like Courtney's quote, there's a reason why it's being smeared, this, this business, because the government is losing a lot of money when people are taking control of their own lives. Um, but if I had put the energy that I did in building my, e my eBay business, which was self-employed, it was just me doing it, um, into a network marketing business like I'm doing now, I would be sitting back very comfortably right now on a residual income that I could depend on every month. I mean, it's, it's night and day, where right now I'm in the middle of building that up, which is really exciting and really fun. I'm absolutely passionate about what it is we're doing over here with, um, with health and, uh, and wealth and that, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, I thought that was really great. Let me know if you'd like more information on this um, this accountant, okay? And also, she says, it's not in great. Don't even think about TurboTax. That's what I use in the past, TurboTax. She said, don't do it. 
She said people who got 4,000 to 5,000 back on TurboTax, she can get them back 21,000. This is someone who is like a leading attorney and specializes in home-based businesses. And particularly, I think about 70% of her, her in, um, business is from uh, like network marketers. So she is a pro. And then of course she takes all accountability if the IRS should ever audit. And she has all kinds of fascinating information there. So there's really nothing like to worry about. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful to you. Take care.